Hello there YouTube, thanks very much for joining me, I'm Dean the Vaping Biker and today we've got another little vlog for you, it should have happened yesterday, bank holiday weekend and all that good jazz meant that uh, the, well I did, uh, what did I do, I did a review, I did the super in the morning and then um, in the afternoon the family came over and so I spent the uh, bank holiday Sunday with the family which was nice, let me just check to make sure I've got the right microphone on, yes I have, jolly good. <laughs> so, um, what's today going to be about? I'm going to let you know I've had a bunch of stuff come in over the last week or so and I'm pretty confident I didn't mention what I'm going to talk about today on the last vlog. Uh, so hopefully uh, I can let you know what we've got coming up in the queue. At the same time I can let you know... Um, kind of what's coming up next in in the in the reviews and we'll have a little chat about what we've looked at so far and all that good shit i'm really cold today i'm really it probably doesn't help that i got the window open and i'm wearing a t-shirt and shorts to be fair but in the middle of what, what is, uh, end of may is it end of yeah yeah, end of May, and it's fucking freezing. Anyway, right, the hat's on. Apologies for that, because... Oh, I've got hair here now. Oh. Um, can we live with that? We can probably live with that now, actually. It's been squashed down enough. Um, yeah, the old barnet needs cutting. Uh, my, my review table is about to lose lots of stuff. So, what have we got to look at? Shall we do that first, shall we? Shall I tell you? Shall we? This week, let me tell you about the week. Let's start there, shall we? Have yourself a sit down, grab a cup of tea, pause, cup of tea, come back, feet up, where we go. It's one of my vlogs at the end of the day. I can say I'm going to try and keep it short, but we know what's going to happen. <laughs> so, um, the last week I have, I've been working hard. I've been working hard. I didn't get the videos out that I wanted to get out uh, at the start of the week, so I kind of went hell for leather at the end of it. I think on Friday, was it? I, um... I think I was in front of the computer recording reviews for like seven or eight hours or something. So uh, that was my, my my kind of late afternoon and, and night done. <laughs> Whoever said recording reviews is easy, bastards, I tell you. And I don't do all the jump cuts and all that sort of stuff. So let's have a little look and see what we've covered over the last or since the last vlog. So over the last week. Um the V Park review, the V Park mods, which were these little puppies up here, which I still maintain are absolutely great for a, for a reasonably cheap and cheerful. You can buy them uh, uh, pretty cheaply at the moment, and um, for the cost of them and for the simplicity of them, I think it's absolutely tip top. And I don't think many items have uh, have kind of beaten those when it comes to how easy they are to use. So uh, I was super impressed with those. I did like those a lot. Um, after that, we had the Kanga Pro Tank 4. Oh, <laughs> uh, it was such a shame. It was such a shame. I thought it was going to be a tank. And to be fair, with the ceramic coil, it wasn't hellish. Um, but it was the RBA deck that let it down horribly 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 i've had a couple of people put comments on that video saying that they haven't had the same issues but i have also heard from people that have had exactly the same issues with the rba head and because of that because of the um what i would deem to be reasonably unsafe nature of that rba head because it comes in the pack i can't recommend go out and buy this 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 thing because it's it's really good there's one bit of it that's really dangerous but the rest of it fine um i can't sort of recommend that in good spirits so um i had to give you my honest impression of that and i hope you uh, you took that on board now what i would say once again is even though uh, the people that do have them if you have got one just be very aware aware of that rba head if you do use it and uh when you're when you're kind of pinching coils and all that sort of stuff just make sure it's not wobbling around all over the place and it's not going to really upset your day if it does move it's not going to go into the side of the wall or anything like that and uh, and cause a short because it is obviously the positive pin and the uh, the rest of the tank would be negative so just be very very careful about that if you do use it personally i'm not even putting mine in a giveaway so uh there you go oh that's something else i'm going to tell you about i'll tell you about the giveaway um or a little bit more about the giveaway after that came the triad 
which is a badass piece of kit. I'm still using my Triad and I uh, I like it a lot. The one that I reviewed, the brand new one in the packaging, is actually going into the raffle as well, which I'll tell you about, as I said, a little bit later. I do think it's great. I mean, the styling is not to everybody's tastes. I get that. That's understandable. Um, but at the same time, a DNA 200 in this form factor, it makes me happy. So um, once again, thanks very much to Vape Geek for, uh, for sending that along to me. Um, what else did we do? The Nautilus XI. Um, Nautilus, see, this is what you get when you try and charge something with a really long lead. Ah, fuck it. Let's put it sideways and see if it leaks. Um, the Nautilus X, yeah. Mm, yeah. It, I'm not the best person to uh, to test a mouse to lung tank we know this however i do you know occasionally enjoy a mouse to lung vape and here's the thing okay and i was chatting to uh, a buddy about this yesterday when you're looking at flavor chasing you know you get you there's kind of quite the thing especially on social media that you get your flavor chasers and you get your cloud chasers and or oh, never the twain shall meet and we'll meet at lunchtime in the playground with 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 fisty cuffs and ties wrapped around their heads being ninjas but um from my point of view i mean i enjoy a big old lung hitting vape anyway that makes me happy but um by doing that in my and this is kind of me rationalizing it in some point in in some way you're getting a lot of vapor in you okay so the more vapor you get in you that's that's bringing through that vapor is coming from somewhere so that's bringing through all the juice all into your mouth and have a little fun fair on your olfactory senses um so you're gonna get a pretty good flavor unless it's overly compensated with air so then it comes down to your coil choice and yeah yeah yes it does do the temperature to some degree but also your air that goes onto it and all that sort of stuff so i get a really good flavor from a lot of the things that i do lung hit and so for, for me to go into something that is just mouth to lung i can't quite compute how you get as good a flavor doing that with a fraction of the of the vapor and a fraction of the of what goes in you <laughs> does that make sense what goes in you um, <laughs> so to me it kind of makes sense if you're having a bunch of vapor going in there then it's going to give you a bunch of flavor call me simple if you like but uh, but there we go so anyway the Nautilus X, I did think it did lack in flavour, even comparing it to uh, some of the other products that I've got. And uh, I think it's a bit of a shame. I do think it's a bit of a shame. Uh, a lot of people have said the Triton Mini coils um, instead of the Nautilus X coils in, or oh, sorry, Nautilus coils in uh, in some products. Things like the, what was the box called? What was the box? I reviewed it. What was the box? What's in the box? Um... What the fuck was it? Oh, Plato. That's what it was, wasn't it? Um, in the Plato there. So that should have... Uh, I think you can put the, the Triton Mini coils in there and get great flavour and all that sort of stuff, apparently. But uh, it's, it is a little bit beyond me. And unfortunately, the Nautilus X was a bit of a letdown. It looks awesome, but I, I personally would like a, a different coil choice in there. Or, like they've done with the Cleto, and come out with a rebuildable coil for it. It would be a pain in the dick to build, but at least you'd have more of a chance of getting uh, getting this kind of flavor that you wanted i imagine anyway so that's my that was my thoughts on there the uh, the drip box the kanga drip box um i hopefully my my review wasn't confusing on this in as much as uh basically i summarized it in saying that it for the money it does a pretty decent job does it do everything it should do to the best of its ability no it does not but is it a decent little mod? Does it do a decent enough little job? Yes, it does. Why did I give it the, uh, what did I give it six and a half or something out of 10? Um, I think that was because it's got a fixed 510. The, uh, the, the, there's no wattage control when you're in temp mode. There's no, uh, when you're in temp mode, it's, it's, it's pretty weak source to be honest with you. And I think there was one or two, or two other things I can't remember, but for those things that are pretty integral for use, um, I, yeah, I couldn't give it sort of full mashings marks. I know somebody asked me, what would I give 10 out of 10 to? And if you watch the channel, you'll know that if I like a product, I'll give it the uh, the absolute biker seal of approval. But um, <laughs> how can, just wanky does that sound? I give it my seal of approval, yes. Mm. <laughs> what? 
Um, but you know what I mean. I'm, I, I, I don't know how to phrase things properly sometimes. Um, and then after that, yesterday, the Supra RDA, which was this. I'm using the uh, the little black one on here. And I think that it, I, I, I love it. I think it's really, really good. Um, I think the airflow is great. The build deck is great. The uh, space you've got to play with things. Let's let, let's have a little vape, shall we? Have we had a vape yet? We haven't. We take a sip of your tea. Builders tea, white and two, or you know, a little bit more refined. Sweet enough already, darling. And only having no sugar or one. What's your preference? Um. <laughs> I'm sweet enough already. I wish. <laughs> Um, <laughs> right, let's have a little vape on this. What have I got? 66 watts. That's just lovely. That's lovely. I've still got the Deja Voodoo going in there. Um, and I, marvellous. Now, some people are also saying about this being on fast take. I spoke to uh, Advocate about that and got a reply this morning, I think, um, saying that they only gave fast tech a, a sort of a small amount of them and they're not giving them any more. So, um, you know, they, they should be available in all the normal places, um, but uh, but I'm, I still didn't get the, the full RRP price. So, um yeah, I, hopefully we're going to get to see them soon. I've got a feeling that someone like Viv D Vapes might be getting them. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, I, I think we're going to see them because I do think it's a really good little atomizer. It's well made and it feels it feels a pretty decent quality, to be honest with you. So I'm, I'm, I was super happy with it. Fabulous. Um, and that, that brings me to an end of the reviews that we covered last week. So there was quite a lot in there. So apologies if you don't tend to follow the channel and then your emails got bombarded with uh, with uh, me doing reviews. I can't talk. I really can't talk today. I'm all over the place. <clears throat> and it's not even wine related. What's that all about? I sat down earlier on and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to do a fun. I'm going to do a fun uh, vlog. I'm going to dick about. I'm going to put some jump cuts in there. I'm going to have lasers shooting out of my eyeballs. I'll have a, all manner of things going on there. And, um, yeah, I, I think I sat, I sat here for about two hours fannying about with that and then realised that I just can't be chewed. <laughs> I am going to go and have a bottle of wine this evening. So I'm not sitting in front of a computer all day just to spend <laughs> hours on lasers coming out of my eyes. <laughs> it's not happening. So, um Right. What else? What else? So that was that was what we did on the. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Then apologies if I was talking about something completely different. <laughs> no. Um. So that was what we covered last week. I did kind of go hell for leather. I've still got a bit of a review queue to calm down, um, and uh, I'm working on that. So hopefully this coming week is going to be equally busy as well. So I'm going to be aiming for a video a day or the equivalent of just to bring everything together and make things a little bit more manageable again. It's been it's been a lot and I'm really appreciative to everybody that sends stuff for the purposes of review and so I can show you guys. But uh, but it's it sometimes gets a bit scary when you look at stuff and go, oh, fuck, there's loads. Um, so the Cool Fire 4, I know a lot of people were asking about the Cool Fire 4. There's a gazillion reviews about that now. Um, but the, uh, the, the, the temp control, what one was it? Oh, here we go. The uh, TC100. And I said that I was having a couple of issues. And with this particular one, um, I, I have to make a, a little video just showing the issues I'm having with this one. Or I had with this one to uh, to um, Inakin so they can uh, they can see exactly what the score was with that. Um, but there's more to come from Inakin in a minute when I when I'll uh, tell you what we've got coming up. So is that everything? Still haven't got a job, but but very cool things are happening. So that's good. Um, and uh, I've been asked a couple of times about my juice line. Well. Yeah, that's not a real thing. <laughs> I think I may have made a sarcastic comment in the Q&A in last, last week's vlog. And uh, and a couple of people actually thought I was doing a juice line. No, not doing a juice line. Um, not for any reason. I would probably do one, maybe. I don't know. 
Um, but uh, but no. Um, I'm a, I'm a hard man to please. I am a hard man to please when it comes to juice, even though I don't do the juice reviews. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's a it's a little bit of a bugger. So, what else have we got going on? Uh, shall I tell you about what I've been vaping on? Well, it's what I've been vaping on recently is kind of all in the queue. What's coming up next, by the way, hopefully, is going to be the queue class. Uh, I have finally kind of done my uh, bits and bobs on this bad boy and have uh, have got to be able to play with the software on the slowest laptop slash netbook in the world. Oh, excuse me. Pardon. Slowest netbook. Uh, <laughs> the slowest netbook in the world. So, I finally managed to dick about with the software, um, even to the point of, uh, of um, actually, I don't know why I put that on, because I'm just going to get the check out of my thing, even to the point of going crazy and having um, having little logo-y things going on. So I've got, uh, so I vaping, there's no point in me going up close. It says vaping biker there, and then when you unlock it, it, uh, one, two, three, ah, oh, shit me. Vaping biker. Have it large when you unlock it. <laughs> ah, you see, you see what happens there. Um, now, a friend of mine gave me a Sub Zero Twenty Four yesterday, uh, which is kind of almost matchy matchy with with that bit. If I had a red drip chip on there, that would that would suit, wouldn't it? Anyway, um, and uh, he's a he's a bit of a whiz when it comes to uh, coil building. So thank you very much, Michael. I've got a uh, there's, it looks like it's an alien wire build in there. Um, don't know if it's two or three core, but it's uh, it's a bit nice. It's only a single coil, and I've got this going at 66.6 watts. Look at that look. It's not bad off a single, is it? Um, so, and I'm getting oodles of flavour on there as well, which is brill. Don't know if the 24 is going to be in the review. It may, it may well be. Um, I need to find out more about it. To be honest with you, because I haven't, I haven't had one on my radar. I've not really looked into it that much. I was aware of it. I know that. Um, I think it's been out a little while in the 22, and I know Nick and Ruby and probably a bunch of other people have reviewed it. Now, whether it was the 24 or the 22, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, so I, I was kind of up in the air whether I'll do a review. And so what we're going to do is see how we get on when it comes to uh, getting through all of the stuff that I've got in front of me that I'm now going to tell you about. So we've got the Q class. That one's happening. That's very cool. Now, first things first, I had a, uh, a nice little delivery from Tesla, which is was lovely of them. So we've got the Stealth with their little tank in there. Now, it's my, my drip tip on there from um, Continental Mods. And I am loving this little setup. It's awesome. It's bloody tight. It is dinky as you like. It really is. Um, when it comes to, I guess, the closest thing would be the Smoant that I looked at um, not so long ago. And the, it's it's even smaller than that. Look, it's uh, it's pretty dinky. Uh, the the cage. Ah, oh, shit, me. We'll leave that there for a minute. The uh, the cage on it is quite nice as well. So you don't um, it, you can you can kind of put your hands all around it, and as long as you don't go tight, um, you can get a nice little vape from it. And also, I'm pretty impressed with this little tank. To be honest with you. Um, it is a, uh, um, a a coil, like a, a sub tanky sort of thing, and they didn't give me any extra coils. So I've kind of I'm, I'm using this for as much as I can use it, and hopefully it'll still be around when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the review. Uh, I have tried other tanks in here. I did find out that my Vapor Giant Mini would actually it actually took out some of the paint on the inside of the thing, which I'll go into in more detail in the in the review, but um yeah you see this is 23 mil at the base and that's why so um you need to do need to have a maximum of a 22 mil uh tank to go in here but uh but no i mean it's kind of, it's an unregulated protected 
little side by side mod with a little lipo in there and it just works brilliantly i really really like it. a little 2200 ma uh it seems me it says and i've seen it advertised in various places as a hundred watt mod well i mean like anything else that's unregulated it's going to be very very related to the uh the coil that you put in here and obviously the charge because without that regulation on there if you're you're expecting 60 watts throughout the entire battery life then that, that may not happen so um you know it's uh it has got low voltage protection and well all manner of protection which i'll go through over in the vlog but mm. i like it a lot i like it a lot and very kindly they have sent another one across which I've opened up to have a little look, but it's still got the wrapper on, look. Uh, it's a black and white one. Ooh. Now this one, knack the wrapper. Um, this one will be going in the uh, in the giveaway. So we'll pop that in my little giveaway box and I'll tell you about that box in a minute. So yeah, big, big fan of this. Big fan of this. Not sure how much they are yet. I will have a look for the review. No need to put pricing underneath this video because there will be a review forthcoming. But as well as that, um, Tesla also sent across a Nano and these have been out for a little while as well but I tell you what it's bloody marvellous it really, I really like it um, it kind of I've not I've not put it through its paces yet and I told Tesla that I may not review this or I may do a written review rather than a, uh, a video review but just because it's been out a little while now but to be honest with you I'm enjoying this that much that I may do a review as a size comparison once again it is only kind of a hint bigger than the uh, than the stealth uh, it's got good weight to it as well though it really has got some good weight I think I don't know once again if it's all stainless I imagine it possibly could be uh, but we'll have to see there may be some zinc alloy going on I don't know who knows let's find out when we do the review shall we but uh, I really like the button on it it's kind of it's that button looks a big bastard doesn't it but it's actually really comfortable it's kind of clicky and nice and I just love using it I am having such a good time with that. It's untrue. Now then, to go on to some Inikin bits and bobs. Now this is the 2mm Inikin um, iSub V tank, which is new out. Now this is the one that they're, they're saying is going to be all the TPD compliant 2mm malarkey. And you know what? I have... Um, I've not, in all honesty, I've not been a fan of the tanks that have come out from Minikin because they haven't suited my style. However, this little bad boy, I think, looks awesome and does a really, really good job. It's a nice restricted lung hit um, and it just, it, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot, a lot. I like it a lot. Um, so, yeah, it makes me happy and I think it looks really sweet on top of the Nano as well. But uh, once again, when we come down to the Inikin stuff, uh, I will go through that. What we're talking about Inikin, um, I know a few other people have mentioned these. I got mine whoa, just over a week ago, I think, maybe. Um, and I haven't even had a chance to unwrap it because, well, as you know, I've been uh, super busy with the other reviews. So this is the Cool Fire 4 TC18650, which is jolly good. Um, oh, a bit of windy pops. And uh, we've also got this limited edition vape edition. What fucking word is that? <laughs> vape travel kit. And it's got an interesting little thing going on here. If nobody's shown you as yet, let me let me uh, let me show you, show you my wares. Um, so you've got one of these little bags, which is nice to carry stuff in. Um, and inside, you've got stuff. Okay, now it gives you all information and things going on here. You've got a spare 18650 battery holder and a lanyard. Um, you've got the uh, 18650 mod going on here. Oh, I might use this one for the review instead of unpackaging the other one. What colour is the other one? Let's have a little look. Is it a sexy black? I think it might be. I know it's got black on the front there. Do they change colours? Yeah, they do, I think. Yeah, this is going to be a sexy black one. So I should I I might mm, we'll see. Um, I might unbox it for the uh, for the for the review just to show you. But uh, but yeah, I might uh, I might do all my road testing on this bad boy. Um, because it's eighteen six fifty, you've got a little bit of a fatter kind of 
fatter end on the side here but it's still pretty comfortable in the hand they still haven't quite got the hang of the idea of moving this fire button up which i would love to i'd love that fire button to be on that corner that really just would be such a a uh, a benefit in uh, in change of design um or such a strong feature i think that would be absolutely fantastic uh it's got a funky little uh, funky little uh, battery door thing with one of these little flicky outy bits uh, so you can unscrew stuff. So we'll give that a good going over. I haven't even fired it up yet, to be honest with you. However, let me show you what this little thing that comes in here. Look, you've got all manner of gubbins here for tanks and bottles and stuff, which I think is cool. But here, you've got these two little wires. Now, what these two little wires do, they don't charge. Oh, no, no, sherry Bob. Uh, what they do do, they do do, though, is they've got magnets on. So you pop your battery on one side. Now, if you watch these little things, if I can show you those when I'm putting this battery on. Oh, my word. Go on, Sam. Go on, Sam. Stop dropping it. What are you doing? And then, ping. Look at that. Look. That all lights up. Ooh. So it tells you how charged your battery is. Now, <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's cool. I think it's a little bit whizzy and a little bit funky. But um, wouldn't the mod tell you? Kind of would, wouldn't it? But uh, but no, I think it's I think it's a whizzy fun little thing to have in your uh, in your box. So uh, yeah, we'll be having a good old look at these at some point. Um, and uh, I think it's a nice little kit, you know. If you are if you are, if you do want something just to travel about with and and uh, and fanny about with to keep your gear in, I think this is a a nice little potential option. So I'm looking forward to uh, really getting stuck into that uh, that um, setup. Now, on top of that, they have sent me another one of these tanks as well. This is a black one. I really like it. I really want to use it, but I'm not going to. Do you know why I'm not going to? Because it's going in the giveaway. Um, but I may bring it out just to show people in the review. So we'll see. Uh, on top of that, um, uh, I've got coils and all that sort of good stuff as well. Um, Coil Master are now doing wire. Now, we know that Coilmaster, there's been a little bit of discussion recently about Coilmaster kind of just rebranding stuff. And they do to some degree, although they do, they are working on their own gear at the same time. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm assured about that. However, one of the things and I kind of get where they're coming from. One of the things they're doing is they are rebranding stuff and that went basically so they can pull all the resources and all the stuff a vapor needs all together under sort of under one roof so you can buy something that covers everything does that make sense which i think is is really it's not a bad idea it's not a bad idea as long as the markup's not bonkers on it then uh, it's not a bad idea so um they've sent me a couple of wires but they're sending me a bunch more so we'll have a little look at that um we've also got another k bag which i take my k bag everywhere with me i think they're absolutely superb um we've got also, these little pee bags. Pee bags. <laughs> Just realised it says pee bags. <laughs> You're not peeing it, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you can, if you really want a little pouch on the side of your belt with, with things, then uh, you can have those as well. So, those, hey, guess what? They're going in the giveaway as well. Wallop. So, uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's that little lot. Now, what else? Because there is more. There is. Oh, no, I was talking about Tesla a little while ago, wasn't I? Um, with the uh, with the Nano here, uh, they also sent me the blue one, which I think looks very funky. Does it go in my eyes? Um, which, yeah, I think it looks very sweet. And I, just, I really, really bloody like these mods. Um, giveaway. I keep saying giveaway. It's not a giveaway. It's a raffle. Sorry. Before you all get excited and just think you're getting free shit. Um, so that's happening. Now then, what else is there? Hey, oh God, it's all going everywhere. Um, so I'm just charging this up. It's awfully warm. Um, we'll see how we get on with this. Now, a company called, called Dawantec. These guys, um, I, I get quite a lot of emails from uh, from various people asking if I want to review their stuff, and in a lot, in, not in a lot, but in some cases, I say no because um, 
th th there's a lot to get through anyway and um the stuff looks a bit shit um but <laughs> um but sometimes something's quirky enough and i think yeah go on and we'll have a little look and so this is this is the the the, the color that i uh, i took out because i figured the wife could help with the road testing um but uh but yeah so there's this look at that look and i'd say this is charging and not off a two amp charger or anything just off the computer and that was that's um <coughs> excuse me it felt a little bit warm Anyway, we'll see how this goes. It's the first time I've actually juiced it up and got it going. Um, they say it's the smallest little uh, little um, uh, mod in the world. I'm not entirely sure how it relates to the to the uh, mini vault, but uh, but it certainly is very dinky with a dinky little tank on top. Oh look, I've got funking. I got what's going on my tash. I realised I did like three videos the other day, and my tash was all over the show. Um, Anyway, so this, the interesting thing, this is called the uh, Galactica, um, and Galactica Mini Q, I think it's called, Mini Q. Um, now, under here, it says it's the smallest mod in the world. It has 40, 40 watts of wattage variable system and TC mode systems. Um, <laughs> uh, it does say, Mini Q is no longer just a vape. It's a fashion accessory. Right. Um, but but anyway, a couple of the interesting things. And I say I've not had a play with this yet, but uh, it's got temp control as well as wattage mode, and it appears that you've got kind of like um, it's got cotton burning sensitivity, which I'm I'm seeing or hearing a little bit more coming out of uh, out of uh, the far east over there with um, sort of like a, a number where they're 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 saying that. You know, you, you can adjust your, the sensitivity of the cotton to, not sensitive of the cotton, the sensitivity of the mod just a little bit. So it, it kind of does limit things, um, but not in quite the temperature control way that we've been getting used to for the last however long. Um, but it does do that, apparently, uh, and does uh, and does all manner of bits and bobs and things and stuff and, um, and what have you. But uh, it's got kind of, the board on it is very reminiscent of a, uh, of a kind of a, of one of them um it's a little bit blurry it's a little bit blurry and i took the screen cover off it um and it still looks a little bit blurry which is a bit annoying but uh, but no i mean it's it, once again it's tiny if we go down the size comparison route that's even smaller than that but it's uh it's yeah it's very very dinky the uh, the tank doesn't appear to have any kind of airflow control obviously it has a sort of a spinny roundy top that appears to do nothing um Uh, it feels pretty cheap and cheerful, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. The flavour isn't terrible. The flavour isn't terrible in there. In the, at the moment, I've got this sauce, um, this apple caramel apple pie, or whatever it is. Um, but yeah. Once again, I think this has got proprietary coils. Um, the coils go directly under the uh, under the top cap there. So uh, I will be looking into this to see if other coils go into it. Uh, one of the things that's really annoying me at the minute, with all of these kind of stock tanks that are coming out, um, Inikin have got it sussed. They're, they're using kind of similar coils for a whole bunch of things. Wherever possible, they use the same coil. Um, but there's so many different ones. I mean, we've had the Nautilus X this week already. This may be another one. And there was another one somewhere. I looked at something else. Um, oh, is it that? We'll come to that in a second. Um, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, we need, we really could do with getting some kind of um, standardized sizing and threading for coils. Couldn't we? Wouldn't that? How is that not a good idea? That's got to be a good idea, surely. Once you get the standard coil then it's going to be down to the individual companies to be able to make their own ones, whether they're doing Clapton ones or radio ones or Fizzy Wizzy, Let's Get Busy ones or whatever they're doing. Then it comes down. It's like kind of, it's like F1 in as much as, you know, your, your car's your car and then it's all about how your team fucks about with it. Um, I would really like to see that, but I can't see that happening in the in the near future, unfortunately. But anyway, so that's a, a, a thing. That's a thing. The tank actually feels heavier than the, than, you know, it's like, if I go in the middle there, the tank is heavier than the mod. What? <laughs> I could do that all day. You don't want to see that. You don't want to see that. Really restricted airflow as well. You can get a long hit, but very, very restricted. Um, 
Did it bow. Moonshot 20. Oh no, mini Moonshot Mini. The 24 mil came from Sigeli. Uh, I probably will do a review on that one. Uh, but hey, guess what? It's the Moonshot 22, but bigger. Review done. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I may do a proper one. We'll see. Um, but that came through eventually from Sigeli. So well done then. Thank you very much. Uh, the other thing they sent me was an elf tank. What's up with elves? Elves. Um, what did I do? What did I? What did I? What did I? Oh, the Nautilus X said elf, didn't it? Didn't it? Did it? I'm sure it did. Um, I'll put it somewhere now. Anyway, yeah. So, oh, hello. The camera's gone off. Hopefully that was all right. Oy. Right, so let's have a little look at this elf tank, shall we? I haven't uh, I haven't taken it apart. I haven't done anything with it. Um, so here we go. Oh, what's this? Right, so that's in there. That's NI200. Rubbish. Who do, do you, if you use NI200 anymore, rather than stainless steel or something, let me know, will you? because I'm always interested to find out. Right, so there is the elf tank. Um, it's a looking like a little little puppy going on here. Um, we've got it it's actually not dissimilar to the um, to the to the Inikin. Um, in there at the moment. Look at the size of the bore on that hole. It's a big bugger, isn't it? But we've got pretty small little wick holes by comparison. So what's the, I don't understand. Right, let's have a look and see if it's top fill. Speak amongst yourselves for a minute. If it is, I don't really want to play. Oh, what does that do? Oh, uh, you unscrew. Ah, yes, it is. You unscrew the uh, the the drip tip there. Um, and that's a and that's a thing. Once again, another tank that you can't put your own drip tip in. So if you like using your own drip drip tip, tough titties. Why is it so tight? Why is it so tight? <laughs> That's what she said. No. Well, I'm not sure that's sitting down straight at all, but there we go. Right. Now, full beans air open. Still restricted, but it's, uh, it's not bad at all. Yeah, that's not bad. But, uh, but coils. Have we got proprietary coils again? Why do we do that? Now then, does it say on here? No. 22 mil atomizer. Right, it's 22 mil. Uh, that tells me nothing. Well, there's no, there's no, uh, there's certainly no, um, there's no rebuildable in there. Just this Ni200 coil and some spares. So, yeah, that's that. We'll look at that in more depth when it comes to the review. But uh, yeah, they didn't say they were going to send me this. And as you know, I'm trying hard not to review tanks all over the show at the minute because they bore the piss out of me. Um, now then, the Galactica thing, by the way, there is another one here in a slightly less blingy black colour, um, which I think is going to look pretty sweet. Once again, that's in the raffle pile. Um, but that, I think... Oh, no, no, we've got one more. We've got one more. We've got... The Mutation X V5. Uh, this was sent on to me by a very nice man um, from Vapor, V A Y P E R dot co dot UK. If you go to vapor.co.uk with a Y, um, it takes you to his Facebook page or their Facebook page while they're getting their uh, their website built. But uh, but yeah, it's been uh, been a, a fair old while since I've had a play with the uh, with the mutation X. I think wasn't the the last mutation that I I reviewed. I think it was that one with the bottom airflow with those little bungs that went in it that just went everywhere and were a fucking nightmare. I think I think that's what it was. I think that's what it was. So uh, yeah. Have I got anything? Oh no, let me show you the tank. It's tall, isn't it? Um, not the same can be said for me. But we look like we've got a sort of a, a top-down airflow sort of vibe, but it's 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 a strange bugger to get to work. I think it does mainly well, I don't know. Um, but from the uh, from the deck, we've also got a bit of a funky thing where you can choose if you're gonna have dual posts like a velocity style, or you're gonna fuck them off and go postless which I think was really cool. It's a really cool idea. So I've got a couple of uh, Claptons in there at the minute where I've gone postless. And you can see that half the deck is actually Delrin. 
the negative is is stainless and the uh, the positive is Delrin. So uh, that's a, a decent funky little safety feature. Now to use, I've actually had a jolly good time with this. Cloud. I've got the air kind of halfway open, just on the sides only. And I've had a really nice, I'm get, I am actually getting oodles of flavour and stuff coming from that, which I think is pretty damn cool. Now you can see kind of, you can kind of see under there that you've got the side air holes where uh, I've kind of got them half open. And then at nine o'clock and three o'clock, there's kind of um, sort of slight gaps, which equates to this, or comes from this airflow at the top here. Uh, so if you have that on, that's where that goes. Let's have a little a blat. Yeah, that to me takes away from the flavour. But, well, that is going to be in the review queue. It is tall, though, isn't it? Why have they made it so tall? Why have they made it? It's a deep deck on it. It is a deep deck. Um, yeah, don't know why they've made it so tall, but we will examine that in more detail come the review time. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, that is everything that's come in. It's a lot in there. I tell you, review life's not easy. <laughs> so, the raffle. The raffle. This is my box of raffle stuff that's going to be coming up. Now, if I just move that out of the way for a minute um, and put that somewhere safe. Right, so we've got. A whole bunch of stuff that's going to be going on in this bad boy because we've made over Christmas I think with the gift aid we made over 700 quid I think it was with it um, for charity and so this little puppy I'm going to split up into a bunch of different prizes so um, you can win a, uh, a fair amount of gear hopefully um, I have got some more stuff coming in this week so maybe there's going to be some more bits and bobs to add to this and that's one of the reasons why it's taken as long as it has to get going so I meant to do it like a, a while ago now but I haven't got round to it purely because I'm getting more stuff coming in so it's just going to allow me to do a really nice worthwhile kind of uh, a, a charity thing so um, yeah so hopefully I can I can uh, I can really get some money raised with you guys or with your help uh, so we can really kind of put some decent cash to a charity which I'd really like to do um, so, I mean, we've got things like I've shown today. We've got the Galactica and we've got the iSubs and we've got the Teslas. Um, we've got we've got the Triad, which I mentioned, which is going to be awesome. Whoever's going to win that is going to be happy. Uh, in here as well, we've also got um, we've got the uh, the Wismec Presser TC100 watt that I reviewed. Uh, we've got a couple of the Coilmaster um, tanky things to carry your juice around in. Which are jolly useful. They are jolly useful. Um, we've got. Um, I'm going to put one or both of the white V Park um, uh, thingies that are there. I might put both of those in. Uh, we've got. We've got a TC100 from Inakin. We've got more. We've got more. We've got more. I'm going to throw in the reviewed Hasta RDTA, which I thought was pretty damn sweet. We've got. A, uh, a serpent mini that's going in there. We've got a what's this? What's going on in here? What's this? Conqueror. Got a Conqueror that's going on. Damn fine tank, the Conqueror. Wife stolen mine now, so I haven't got mine anymore. But you know, the Supremo that was reviewed, that little sparkly kind of blue mod that uh, looked pretty swish. Um, I was going to get that with my teeth and then realise that someone's going to win it. Um, that little thing you can kind of see there. That was a nice, nice review. Uh, we've got the stainless steel Supra RDA that I reviewed on Friday. So yeah, there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff. So save up your pennies, boys and girls, because, and, and obviously the Coil Master gear and all that as well, because uh, I think it's going to be for a dog's charity. Um, but it's, uh, it's, I want to see where the money goes as well. So, uh, we'll see how we get on with that one. So hopefully you'll all be happy to get involved with that and it'll make you that nice, warm, fuzzy feeling inside. Now, ooh, I think what I might also do, 
these are these are coming up, and I mentioned I've mentioned these before, so I'm not going to go into them again. But uh, but these are the little mods from Jaywell. This is the 18650 Onyx, which it just feels lovely, and that's going to be coming up. Um, that and the dual 18650 Supra should be coming up after. Excuse me, after the uh, cue cards. Excuse me again. Is there anything else? I don't think there is. How long has this video been? It's going to be huge. 45 minutes nearly. Oh, my word. Um, so some one of the little uh, flavours that I've been going on or playing with uh, this week as well. This black uh, Visions stuff. This has been quite nice. This is the, uh, the... I've got two. I've got this one and is the other one Origin or something? This is a really fruity one. <laughs> Trust me, it's fruity. I know it's fruity. Don't know what fruit, but it's fruity. Might be strawberry something going on in there. And there's another one with a bit of custard action happening as well. I've been enjoying those actually. They've been all right there. I don't know whether they'd be the, they'd be my all day vapes, but they've been they've been quite fun to have a little play with. Um, um, 42 year old man trying to beatbox badly. <laughs> Wanker. <laughs> but otherwise, oh, we've still been I've still been playing with the uh, noisy cricket with the uh, with the with the 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 fat daddy vapes upgrade kit um that you can get from modmaker.co.uk. Uh, I haven't got around to the review on this one yet, but that hopefully will be coming up this week as well. Uh, just to give you an idea about how this works, there's not really much to go in depth about, but uh, with the uh, with the fire button, the floating pin 510, and the tube, you get a little tube mod out of it as well. I think Rick's still selling them for about 15 quid, which is mental, um, and very much worth it. If you've got if you've got a noisy cricket, I I strongly recommend them. Uh, I don't know how many he's got left, but I know they have been super popular. So if you've been thinking about it for the money, definitely worthwhile. Really is. Uh, what else? Something else is coming up. Da -da -ba. I am going to make another mod. Now what we've got here. Oh, is it in this bag? No, it's not in this bag. No, I've got it in another bag somewhere. Um, I've got one of the uh, little, little, uh, here we go, little small boy boxes from uh, from Modmaker. Rick sent this on, and I think these boxes are brill. Look at that look. It's really, it's a fingerprint magnet, but it's really dinky. It's another small little box. Uh, great if you're going to do a little single 18650 something or other. Um, and you can do some fun things on that. But I'm going to have a go at etching because I've not done that before. So uh, I'm going to have a little blast at that and see if I can... Uh, if I can burn my eyes out with the fumes or something like that. But uh, we'll give that a go. And uh, big shout out to Mike, uh, who is ki who was kind enough to do the Ideal Home Show vinyls because he's doing me a couple of vinyls that I can use for the etching process. So thank you very much, Mike. Uh, what else? Let's have a little look and see what's been going on. First of all, I got a... Uh, I got an email from a very nice man called John Stewart. Now, I'm not going to read it all out. Uh, but basically, he's just he was just kind enough to send me a little email self saying thank you, which I thought was very kind of him, and uh, it's it's much appreciated. And um, what was it? and he's highlighted some stuff that uh, some some research that's been made with regards to kind of the things that I've got like fibro and, and ankylosis and spondylitis and what have you. So uh, that's always always good to see. So thank you very much, John, for your email, and it's much appreciated, my friend. You uh, have yourself a fantastic what's left of the bank holiday and thank you very much for watching so anything else going on let me have a little look at my emails and then we can uh, we can wrap things up fairly sharpish uh, -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. oh here we go uh, richard millington thank you very much as well richard um You've uh, said thank you. What's your review on the Lost Vapes E Fusion Duo? So impressed, I decided to buy one. Uh, since then, not been able to put it down. Ah, oh, that's fair. The, the duos are a damn good little mod. So yeah, thank you very much, uh, Richard. Uh, what have we got here? Oh. oh. <laughs> so a company sent me an email asking to. Uh, this happened. This happened on Saturday. 
um, an email uh, asking to review a tank and it looks like the tallest tank in the world like really tall do you remember the mini dripper no big dripper that was uh, it was it was kind of like a, a steel i think they did a v2 of it not so long back as well and you kind of pushed the drip tip down and it pushed juice from the top section um down a, a little hole to sort of try and get down to your coils um and it's like that kind of vibe but uh, I can, from what it looks like anyway, uh, but with just a big old Pyrex or, or glass tube, oh, it's glass. Um, so it looks massive and really breakable. And I don't really think whether, I don't know if I'm gonna review it or not. Uh, if you want to see me review a uh, tank that's that's possibly the longest tank in the world, then, uh, then let me know. Uh, what else have we got? Is there anything else worth telling you or that you're remotely interested to? to hear about. I have been asked if I wanted to review the Tornado tank and I've said no on that one just because I keep saying no to people uh, when it comes to tanks and I still get them through. Um, and it's not a permanent, I'm not being really kind of off on people that use tanks, but I could quite happily fill my entire review queue with nothing but tanks. And so you have to draw a line somewhere. So that's kind of, uh, that's kind of what's happening. Um, Who's this from an influencers team? Uh, do you want to be part of a network? No. Loads of people ask if you want to be part of a network. Um, I still get emails asking people if I'm interested in reviewing e-liquid, which tickles me greatly. As we all know, I'm shit with figuring out e-liquid. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I've had some interesting... <coughs> excuse me. One of the things I've done this week is... I'm not going to go blaring into advocacy and all that malarkey. Um, I did the video about the uh, the right to them and and uh, I think right to the vape is is, is doing it as well. Um, and it's still worthwhile if you've not done it. Then write to your um, write to members of the House of Lords, write to your MPs, write to everyone you can think of, just and let them know about your vaping story and uh, and why we need to oppose Article Twenty of the TPD because. I oh, forgot I had to swallow then. Um, it, it, it is important. But during that process, I've been speaking to a couple of members of the Lords, which has been very lovely. And uh, also a, uh, a very nice chat from the IBVTA. So hopefully I'll be able to have some information about some stuff. Um, some advocacy sort of stuff coming up over the next week. We'll see We'll see if he uh, has the time to get back to me on a couple of questions that I've asked. Um I've also I've been asked I've asked also asked about a billion lives and um, a few people have asked about where that billion lives film is and essentially what they're trying to do is they're trying to do big kind of um, uh, what's it called it's not a matinee premiere <laughs> premieres uh, they want to do a big premiere of a billion lives and try and get loads of press and everything else involved. I don't get it. I don't understand it. But if you go onto Phil Basado's um, web page, then uh, there's a section on there that tells you all about kind of why they're doing what they're doing. And then you can make your own mind up whether you agree with that or not. Is there anything else I can tell you? No, I don't think there is from the emails. Nothing super exciting coming across there. I can see just at uh, a quick first look. So what have I been looking at? My subscriptions on the YouTube. So we have a vape. So we have a vape and a squash. Oh, Rip Trip has done his night V1 by Smart Man Review. Huh? Uh, so what's going on this week? So Mark Todd has done his uh, Limitless RDTA review and um, and he likes it, which is good. And he's slowly, slowly moving in towards the cloudier way of life. We're getting to him slowly. Uh, Vaping Vic V1CK has done the stealth mod, uh, the the uh, this little puppy. He's done that review and was very, very good. Uh, I'd suck my vape mail. It was brilliant. It's, this made me so happy. Uh, Matt from Suck My Mod uh, has done sort of a vape mail thing because he was away for a little while. He had a box of a bunch of stuff come through the post and he wanted to just unbox it kind of in front of the camera, which is pretty much like the first look kind of thing that, that uh, we went through at the start of this video. And uh, he's got this badass looking knife. It looks the tits. It really looks cool. And uh, and 
<laughs> and then seeing him using it, it just makes me laugh. You'll see what I mean if you go and see it. But uh, I did send him a message and said, if I ever piss him off and we ever end up having a fight after seeing his use of a knife in that video, then he's more than happy to bring one along. <laughs> Not that we would. It was only a giggle, um, but he's a he's a lovely man, and that that's quite an interesting little video. Um, Todd's reviews. He did the endless once again. Cloudy, cloudy. I like it. Keep everyone making making uh, Todd blow clouds. It makes me happy. Uh, he didn't quite get down to the, sort of the point two section, which is uh, which is fair enough. The point three, it, it, it sorted him out. Uh, he also did the uh, Lost Folk Triad, the same as I did. And as we always say, uh, you know, when it comes to watching reviews, don't base your purchase just off one reviewer. Go and see a few reviews about it because some people pick up different stuff. Uh, Vape Collective happened over the weekend and I hope everyone had a good time there. I was unable to go to that, unfortunately. Uh, but is there anything else of any kind of... Any kind of... Uh, the Hacksmith. Oh, he's, he's mental. He's good. Um, he made a sword thing. Uh, what else? Obviously, I watched the uh, Ideal Home Show. I'm back on the Ideal Home Show again this coming week. So I'm sure uh, people have missed me greatly on there. So, uh, yeah, put your feet up. Get ready for some big hand checks. <sighs> Is there anything else? Bro Trip 5 from uh, Grim. That was entertaining as usual. Um, the Vapors Worldwide. Watch their show after Wednesday night. Uh, actually, I think I watched some of that live. <coughs> <coughs> um, uh, Damien's fluid momentum. I, I I really do want a nice little wooden mod just for when I'm kind of having a little tank on or, and sitting in front of the telly and just to make myself feel special. But there's no way I can afford pretty much anything that goes on the bloody good vaping channel. But it doesn't stop you having a little look, does it? That's what, oh, did you watch Top Gear? I was going to say that's why we watch Top Gear because we watch, see like nice flash cars and uh, and can't afford them. But um, did you watch Top Gear this week with the new presenters? That was a bit worrying. Um, <laughs> um, is there anything else to tell you about? No, I don't think there is. So tell you what, let's leave that there, shall we? I think I've told you more than enough to bore the pants off you. And there is really literally nothing else that I can tell you other than this still hasn't broken. Yay. <laughs> uh, so coming up, hopefully this week, we'll have the Q class. We'll have the J-Well mods. We will have the Trinity glass tank, um, both the, uh, the, the, the glass caps and drip tips that I got from them uh, because they're awesome. Um, and we'll see what else we can fit in. This might happen this coming week as well, but we're going to need to get an RDA in of some kind as well, I imagine. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what comes up. But it's going to be another fun-packed week, full of busy stuff. Hopefully, a, a video a day. But if that happens or not, pff, who knows? <laughs> see what goes on. But thanks very much for watching. What am I going to finish with? Let's go with the Supra. The Supra on the Supra. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Dean the Vaping Biker. This has been another Sunday vlog on a Monday. Thank you. Is it on? Yeah, it is. Have it large! I'm fading. It's come to an end. I feel an obligation to stop